Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Infinity, and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. I'm really feeling guided to do an energy check-in on the Divine Masculines in the Twin Flame Collective by going through each of the seven chakra centers, the main energy centers in the body, and channeling information about what is happening through the Divine Masculine's ongoing spiritual awakening process. Because although in the 3D world, things might seem to be stagnant or moving very slowly, the Divine Masculines are undergoing really deep, really intense, energetic changes. So two cards just flew out of the deck. And clearly we are meant to start at the root chakra because the root chakra card came out here in the upright position. And we also have angel of balance upright. Okay, so how is the divine masculine beginning to achieve balance in his physical 3D worlds? Strategy in the upright position. making some type of a plan this is really interesting energy coming through here angel of strength reversed so consciously the divine masculines are dominantly feeling this angel of strength reversed energy feeling really overwhelmed by their emotions and because they are uncomfortable with being so emotional this may actually be undermining their sense of confidence as well okay so let's see what the divine masculine is dominantly feeling at this time because again the root chakra speaks to what is happening what is really manifested in the physical 3d world so what is this masculine consciously thinking discipline i can accomplish what i set my mind to I just keep getting this energy of the masculine feeling this surge of motivation to, I'm hearing to better themselves, to take action in some type of way. Ultimately, because whatever masculine I'm picking up on here, the energy coming through is divine feminine. I want to impress you. I want to be the kind of person who can be an equal partner with you. I keep getting this message, so I have to share it, even though I have been resistant to saying it because I feel this is just for a very small group of masculines. But there are some masculines I'm picking up are really focusing on something with their physical health or fitness. This may be nutrition. I'm hearing athlete, so a masculine I'm channeling here may be an athlete because I kept getting something about a nutrition plan or a fitness plan. Now, of course, you divine feminines listening, do have masculine energy within you as well because we all do have an internal balance of divine masculine and divine feminine essence so i'm picking up that some divine feminines may also be feeling this push to really nourish that physical temple of their body in some way so you may have found yourself recently motivated to some kind of new eating plan or exercise regime or something along those lines as well with the pride card, I feel this being the masculine, deconstructing an old sense of pride based in ego and reconstructing a healthy sense of authentic pride. But I'm also getting this radiating admiration, a pride the masculine actually feels silently towards his divine feminine counterpart at this time because I'm strongly getting a masculine 
who with the essence of his energy is saying to a divine feminine, I am so proud of you for something. I am so admiring you for something. So divine feminine, you may be making these shifts and changes in your life that the divine masculine here is at a soul level, a higher self level, seeing even if you aren't seeing each other physically in 3D at this time. I sense he is able to perceive at a deeper level the positive changes that you, Divine Feminine, are making in your life. And I do really sense this pride and admiration coming from him. So let's move up to the sacral chakra. What is happening with this seat of connection, creativity, and intimacy? Happy family in the midway position. So... What I'm picking up here is any divine masculines who are still connected in with some kind of karmic social situation, friendship, karmic relationship, karmic family, there is a loss of desire to be intimate with any karmic person in their life, even if this person is still in their physical life. So, of course, this could be talking about intimacy in the traditional romantic sense, but I'm getting emotional intimacy as well. I keep seeing someone who is around a person or a group of people and their eyes are glazed over. It's like they're physically present, but not really there emotionally and energetically. And that's where I'm getting the masculine is at if he is still around any people who represent those karmic energies in his life. So again, this could be a karmic group of friends who are, I'm picking up that for some masculines, they may have masculine friends around them who have really strong toxic masculinity sorts of tendencies. And I see this masculine just completely being silent in these groups, not desiring to engage from that toxic kind of wounded masculine place within these platonic or social situations or even co-working situations. For other masculines, I do see for some of you, this may be a karmic feminine that they were in some kind of a relationship with or who is in their life in some way. And again, there is that same just total lack of interest, lack of desire to connect or to be intimate with this person. With appreciation in the reverse position, I feel that the divine masculines are largely feeling very unhappy with the intimate connections platonically or romantically that are in their life and this is causing them to feel very alone even when they are around other people. There is this sense of you, Divine Feminine, may see me around these other people, but I don't feel connected with them at all. For some reason, I'm picking up on a Divine Feminine who may have seen a picture of this masculine online with a group of these toxic masculine friends, or potentially even with a mask, not a masculine, a feminine karmic partner. And you could almost see this like deadness, this apathy in his eyes. And I feel his soul here saying, I am so unhappy with the intimate relationships and connections physically available to me in my life at this time. There is this strong desire to change who he is around on a daily basis because those energetic changes are beginning to happen within him. He's not resonating with the same types of people and things any longer. Let's move up to the solar plexus chakra. So what is happening? A lot is happening. I feel it already in the solar plexus contract in the upright position. A karmic contract affecting this masculine sense of confidence or his image. I'm picking up something about a masculine who may have some kind of a public image to keep up. This could be with his friends, with his community, his family. Or for some masculines, this could be someone who is famous or is a public figure and has an image to keep up in that type of way. But... In order to keep up that particular image, whatever masculine is coming through here 
has had to remain trapped in a karmic cycle. So I feel many masculines being presented with this choice. Do I choose to keep up this image but continue living this lie? Or do I take the hit, so to speak, the hit to my ego-based confidence, the hit to potentially my public image, and take a risk on where my heart is leading me? Which leads us, of course, to the heart chakra. And sitting on the heart chakra is the thinking woman upright. I see this representing your energy, divine feminine, right now at this time. Now, I will be channeling in a separate video specifically into your energy, divine feminine. So stay tuned for that. That will most likely be coming out about eight hours after this video. So if you would like to get notified when I post that video and future videos generally, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Join our beautiful community of like-minded, conscious, creative beings here on YouTube. And as an added benefit to subscribing, this does make it easier for me to pick up on your energy in this video and future videos as well. So I'm able to typically channel more specifically, more consistently for you. Okay. So the thinking woman upright, I see this representing you divine feminine at this time, but particularly how this masculine is seeing you. So for some reason, I'm hearing fallout, whoever I'm channeling here, you may have had a recent falling out in 3d with this divine masculine. You may have gotten into an argument you may have set some kind of a boundary or disconnected yourself, but for others of you, I'm picking up that you've simply been shifting into this really highly independent energy. And again, a lot more on this, what I'm calling the energy swap between the masculine and feminine happening for twin flames collectively. A lot more information on that is on my Instagram at magnetize yourself. So you can follow me there, but also in that reading that I posted earlier today. So the masculine is seeing you divine feminine as being really independent. I hear him saying, I know you don't need me. And that really makes me want you. It's that kind of ironic thing about the energetic attraction between twin flames. When we really surrender and shift the energy focus from the external to the internal, our twin flame counterpart actually feels that shift and begins responding to it in really conscious real-time ways speaking of this shift in energy this is also making me feel guided to recommend to you the twin flame surrender subliminal meditation i've created if you are a twin flame this subliminal meditation is incredibly powerful because it's actually designed to help you reach that surrender state that is so powerful coming into that total wholeness and integration within yourself that actually makes you extremely magnetic for manifested interaction, communication, conversation, and harmonious physical union with your twin flame. So you can find more information on my twin flame surrender subliminal under this video in the pinned comment and description box. This does come from my subliminal site, soundandsoulful.com. So as you can see on the screen on this website, I have created over 100 subliminals for essentially every area of life. So again, all of the links to that is under the video. You can feel free to explore around the website and and when you sign up for a free trial account on my site, you can access any subliminal I've created and even create your own custom private playlists as well. These are really, really powerful manifestation tools, energy shifting tools, because of course they work with your subconscious mind and really rewrite the script of the subconscious, which is the powerhouse of the mind. So again, all of that information is linked below. If anyone listening feels guided to explore more about that. So what else is... I'm hearing there's something heavy on the masculine's heart space. Community reversed. 
I'm hearing this separation is heavy on my heart space. So of course, not everyone listening will be in separation from this person. But if you are a divine feminine and you have been feeling some type of separation with this masculine, physically, mentally, emotionally, I hear this masculine saying, the separation is weighing heavily on my heart space. I'm feeling it. It's almost as though he's starting to feel a little bit desperate or that's how his ego is judging how he's feeling. And he feels like if he were to reach out or if he has reached out, that he's been giving off this desperate energy and his awareness of that or his self-judgment of that is actually making him feel really insecure. So... Let's move up to the third eye, or rather the throat chakra. Let's start there before getting into the third eye. So the throat chakra, of course, is the seat of communication. And yeah, when it comes to communication, this is feeding into that heaviness on the heart space right below the throat chakra, that feeling of being afraid to come off as desperate or needy. And I feel those heart-based fears are playing into, kind of bleeding into this throat chakra energy as well. It is so interesting to feel and sense the interplay between these different energetic centers and how what is coming up for the masculine in each energy center is actually playing off the other. So let me know if you enjoy Enjoy this style of energy reading. Okay, so what is on the masculine's throat chakra right now? I keep getting this sensation of someone feeling this tightness or this heaviness in their throat, like wanting to say something but swallowing their words. That's the energy that's coming through. And we have community in the reverse position. Once again, this card came out just a moment ago. And I said it related to the masculine heavily feeling some kind of a physical separation. And in this case, I feel the masculine saying, I'm lonely without you, even if I'm around other people. And I want to tell you about this loneliness I've been feeling. But with attachment in the upright position, I'm scared to be seen by you completely. Because every time I talk to you, every time I open up to you, I can't stop talking. I just continuously pour out myself, my emotions without even meaning to. And then I have to shut down really hard because it scares me how much I've shared or how much I've opened up. But I feel at a higher self level with the card number five coming out and the number 555 five, five symbolizing rapid change. This masculine's higher self wants to tell you divine feminine that although there are these fears involving communicating with you, because again, I hear him saying, every time I get around you, every time I start talking to you, I feel like I share way too much. But I do see that something with the masculine's throat chakra is clearing, is shifting really quickly. What are these things that are shifting or changing really quickly? A plan to get another chance together. Very interesting because we have strategy, the kind of planning card, as well as adjacent possibilities in the upright position. This adjacent possibilities card always holds a kind of wheel of fate energy for me. It always has this vibe of kind of spinning the wheel, taking another shot, shooting in the dark. And I feel that this masculine is strongly fearing his own emotional vulnerability around you, as well as seeing you divine feminine as someone who is in this highly self-focused and very independent space, which is actually making them feel this slight desperation. They feel like they are needy for you, even if they aren't acting necessarily that way or expressing that way in the physical 3D world, everything they do towards you, they judge themselves for as coming off as needy or desperate. That's what this masculine keeps telling me. Okay, so we have a card that came out from the traditional tarot here. And this is the Six of Swords reversed energy. Okay, can I get some further clarification on this card? Okay, we have the Nine of Swords and the Seven of Swords reversed. 
So with the Seven of Swords reversed, I feel this masculine really wanting to turn over a new leaf within this connection and with you and wanting to potentially express that with his words but the problem is the reason the masculine is feeling insecure about communicating much at this time is because i'm hearing embarrassed or feeling insecure about his own lack of 3d progress and again the masculines are still learning how to fully sense into and recognize the energetic shifts that are taking place within them even if these are invisible to the eye and so i feel the masculine really stressing about almost being embarrassed that they aren't further along judging themselves for still feeling like they aren't making progress or like they're stuck somehow in their life where they see you divine feminine again in this really independent energy they perceive you as really being on the up whereas they don't feel the same way about themselves so there is this desire to come forward to turn over this new leaf together but also a lot of really deep fears here coming up on the throat chakra fears of being judged by you for not being further along if they were to communicate more in the physical 3d world so of course that is something that the masculines are going to need to be overcoming okay so i am now going to channel for the third eye chakra what is on the third eye chakra of the divine masculines collectively caring connections in the reversed position i'm realizing now that i didn't give you what you needed or deserved this has the energy of someone seeing something clearly that they feel they were very blind to for a long time and in this particular case i feel the masculine saying i suddenly see clearly why you had to walk away or why you may have had to distance yourself or pull back your energy what is this masculine realizing through the third eye yeah, appreciation reverse that I didn't value or appreciate you the way you deserved, Divine Feminine. And now, anxiety reversed and woman holding a heart in the reverse position. I keep hearing that a divine feminine may have actually struggled with anxiety in the past or considered herself or may have been considered by the masculine as being someone who tended to get lost in her own thoughts or to get very anxious but i see this being something you divine feminine have really been healing you've been facing your fears you've been standing up for yourself coming out of these cycles of anxiety and the masculine sees that and realizes not only that but you're also really taking back your heart taking back your power this is something he's very consciously aware of at this time you are someone divine feminine as this masculine is perceiving you to be someone who isn't afraid to to uproot something that isn't heading in the right direction. You're not afraid to double back on something that isn't right for you. You are someone who is very strongly led by your own intuition and you are fiercely committed to that intuitive voice within yourself and you're not willing to allow yourself to continue building in a direction that no longer resonates as being right for you. with solar plexus chakra in the reverse position i feel that in the past when the masculine was living very unconsciously or from more of an ego dominant state he may have seen this tendency to be guided by your emotions guided by your intuition as somehow being a weakness but he's now seeing that it's truly magic that it's it's granting you this immense power because you divine feminine do have the power to sense into these future energetic potentials to line up energy to sense and channel energy whatever that looks like for you i don't mean this has to be necessarily in a traditional energy channeling sense such as doing tarot or something along those lines this could be channeling energy into music into art into structuring a business 
you are someone who is highly intuitive and the masculine is realizing that whereas when he was living from his ego, he was building in a certain direction just to see those results, no matter the cost, no matter what his emotions or intuition were saying, he's realizing that he was left feeling empty in those things where now you divine feminine are building true confidence, true, true soul fulfillment within your life because you have courage to connect fully with yourself. You're not afraid anymore about how other people perceive you or look at you. And I feel the masculine admiring that and also wanting to become more like that as well. There is this desire to live more authentically and become more of the person he knows he was destined to be within his own life as well so finally let's channel a little bit for the crown chakra the divine is telling the divine masculine through the crown chakra through this connection to the higher self to release his fears and move forward towards the divine feminine in spite of those fears to move forward towards really his internal divine feminine because as twin flames the opposite polarity is within the other and when we focus on healing that opposite energy within us so in this case the masculine going within himself and reconnecting with his inner divine feminine connecting with his own emotions, his own intuitive voice, his spiritual self, the more he does that, the more that the connection to the external divine feminine will mend as well. So this feels like a really aligned place to close this reading. Thank you to all of you who tuned in for the reading today. We are all co-creators and soul family here on YouTube. If anything resonated with you today, I would love to hear from you in the comments under the video. Also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. Join our beautiful community of like-minded, conscious, creative beings here on YouTube. The link to the Twin Flame Surrender Subliminal Meditation is in the pinned comment and description box under the video. Otherwise, I am sending you so much love. Wishing you a beautiful rest of your day and I will talk to you again in the next video.